So hello and welcome to another lecture in Mastering Conf UI for image, AI image generation course by TechLatest.net. So far we had covered a lot of things like course overview objectives, then uh, about Conf UI stable diffusion, then setup installation of Conf UI and AWS GCP. Now in this lecture we will cover basically setup and installation of Conf UI on Azure, Microsoft Azure. Okay, so this is a step by step guide. So let's start our lecture. So first go on TechLatest.net website, click on product and support page. After this in AI and ml category you can find about the conf ui stable diffusion ai image generation made simple product click on this product so you can also go through the futures use cases of this product then click on azure deployment guide so you can see the step by step guide okay so this section describe how to launch and connect to conf stable diffusion made simple vm solution on azure so first step is open this vm listed on azure marketplace this is a direct link of the azure marketplace you have to first sign up and login with your credentials then like uh, directly uh, click on this link or you can directly click on this link and then you can sign up and set up your account and do all the uh, things okay so let's click on get it now you can also go through the futures and use cases here then click on get it now then click on continue and uh, after this uh, here you can see taking you to conf ui stable diffusion and uh, then uh, this is basically the dashboard of microsoft azure and the conf ui vm then click on create button okay and uh, after this you can select your subscription then you select your resource group and then uh, after this you can give your virtual machine name so my virtual machine name is conf ui test so this is my virtual machine name then select reason according to your reason availability zones then you can select uh, image and other things. So let's check on website also. What is the image? Yeah, same. Here you can see the image is this one. Then select security type to standard. And uh, select security type to standard. If you select another security type that is not to work with uh, uh, this VM, basically this uh, image. Okay, now let's uh, go to another step. Optionally change the number of cores and amount of memory. For opt optimal performance, stable diffusion requires significant significant process processing power, which is best achieved with GPU instance. However, if the cost of GPU instance is prohibitive, a CPU instance with higher processing capacity may be used as alternative. Below are the recommended uh, VM configuration, GPU VM, CPU VM. So you can select according to your preference. Like uh, if, if you want faster response, so you can opt for GPU VM. And if you want uh, uh, slower response, so you can uh, opt for CPU VM because CPU works slow and GPU works faster. If you generate, uh, if you generate uh, images with GPU, so it, it works 10x faster than CPU and if you work with the, uh, if you want to generate images with CPU, so it works slow. Okay, so for CPU VM, it's the minimum spec, but for, but more CPU uh, is preferred. So by default, here you can see the, our uh, standard B, uh, size is standard B2 uh, MS 2B CPU 8 GB memory, which is 126.44 per, per month dollar. Okay, so here you can see you can also select uh, another CPU configuration or GPU configuration. Then uh, after this, here you can see the SSH key and other options. So I am using uh, I am using password option. So give username as Ubuntu. Then uh, give set a password here. And uh, after this, uh, your password is set up. Then confirm your password. So here you can see we have done with all the steps now. Okay, now next you have to click on disk, then select OS disk type. So let's check on website also. While deploying the instance on GPU, if you encounter the quota exist error or or you are unable to deploy the instance on GPU, then please refer to our request quota on Azure Cloud Platform page. So if you open link in this new tab, so this is the step by step guide like how you increase quota of your VM basically for all the, for all the three cloud platforms like Google Cloud, AWS and GCP. Okay, so you can check out this guide. This is a step by step guide and full flag guide. Okay, request quota GP on cloud platforms. Then after this, we have choose password and other things. Then OS disk type, then select standard SGD here. Okay, so this is the standard SGD and then after this, uh, uh, we can optionally change the network and sub networks names by be sure uh, that whichever network you specify have ports 22 
for SHS and 3389 for RDP and 4434 HTTPS. Okay, so then virtual network name and other things, then, then you can go to go. Then after this, click on networking, then click on uh, ad management, then click on monitoring, then advance, then tax, and then next review plus create. Okay, so here you can see your virtual machine is started deploying. After this, there is one more steps left. Okay, you have to first uh, you have to now click on create. Here you can also see the validation is passed. Now you have to click on create. Okay, and uh, then after this, uh, here you can see that your deployment is initializing and your uh, see the message that submitting deployment. So wait for one or two minutes because it will take some time. Okay, so let's go on website also. Below will display SSL warnings. Okay, to access the Comfy web interface, copy the public IP of the VM from the VM details page and paste in the browser using HTTPS VM public IP. Make sure to use HTTPS, not HTTP. Okay, so here you can see this deployment is in progress. And uh, after this, uh, uh, it will take uh, uh, one to two minute more. So wait for one minute. So here you can see here deployment is in is completed. Now click on go to resource which it will open an overview of your VM basically the public IP address and other things. Okay, so let's go on website again then browser will display SSL warning. So first copy the public IP address my two VM is already running. Okay, I'm running one VM on my GPU instance and one VM on my CPU instance. Okay, so I will also show you like the image generation uh, process basically like how much time CPU will take and how much time GPU will take. Okay, so copy this, uh, paste this IP with HTTPS. I will paste my IP with HTTPS here. It will take some time because I think uh, the steps are in progress. Okay, so yeah, status is running right now, but uh, it will take uh, two to three minutes more. Okay, so uh, by default, the config default workflow will automatically load it after the start as shown in the figure below. Okay, so uh, th this one is our VM IP, but my two VM is already running. So let's uh, do some examples with here. Okay, so if we click on Q prompt, so it will start, I think it will start your uh, image generation process and this VM is running on CPU instance. Okay, so you can see the, your 0% config means your uh, image generation process is start. Then if you click uh, here, you can see my VM, this is running on uh, GPU instance. Okay, so if we click on Q prompt, so I think uh, this is also started now. Okay, so here you can see the 0% config UI. So let's let's wait for one to two minutes, which uh, like uh, what time GPU instance take and what time CPU instance take. Okay, and I am using very basic GPU also, like not uh, too much costly. So uh, it will also take some time. Okay, and here you can see the zero percent config, zero percent config. Then uh, let's fr uh, refresh this one also. It works or not? It not works right now. So wait for some more time. So let's uh, cover some more things. Okay. So after this to get started, provide the prompt in the clip text in code box with any extra condition in the below prompt, uh, prompt box. Give the size of the image and the wedge count provider at the settings of the sampler. So basically you have to give prompt here. Then you have to like uh, give a text in uh, text clip text in code and other things. Okay. Then in sampler, you have to give some additional settings and other things like the sizes and other things of the images okay next uh, uh, now uh, once you are ready to create images simply press q prompt from right settings basically this is the right q prompt here then uh, uh, right settings and then which uh, watch your image get generated so gp instance generate 10 uh, generate images 10 times faster or more compared to cp instance therefore if you are using a cp instance Accept the process to take 10 to 15 minutes longer to complete. You can check the extra options from the options given below the Q prompt button like history, view, queue, etc. So basically if you click here, so this is some buttons you can check the history and other things of the images. The images created from Confi are stored under home Ubuntu setup Confi output directory on the VM. 
to access this directory, follow these steps. Basically, I can connect to VM desktop environment from any local Windows machine using RDP protocol. To connect using RDP via Windows machine, first note the public IP address of the VM from the VM details page as highlighted below. Then from your local Windows machine, go to start menu in the search box type and select remote desktop connection. In the remote desktop connection wizard, copy the public IP address and click connect. Okay, so this will connect you to the VM desktop environment. Provide the username as Ubuntu and password uh, provided during the VM creation to authenticate. Then click OK. So if if for any reason you don't remember your password, you can then you can reset your password to go to the VM details page. So if you want to change the password, simply you have to run a, a search about run command here. If you click on run command here, then uh, click on run shell script. Then here you can run this command basically. Then like you can also like uh, if you want uh, if if you don't want this option so you can uh, check the help option in help option you can see the reset password option this is the reset password option so you can reset password from here okay so you can reset the password from here then uh, again click on overview and let's check our vm is running or not okay so it works now you can accept this ssl warnings and other things I think this is my GPU VM because it works faster. Let's wait for one or two minute more. Okay, and why why my GPU VM is not working? I don't know what what what's the error. Okay, so uh, yeah, here you can see that we have successfully running our VM also. Then if you click on Q prompt, then uh, you can start the process here again. Here you can see the zero percent config. This is the main VM which we are running, like in the this video. And this is two VM which I am running basically on the uh, like uh, basically from my side. Okay, so if you again click on Q prompt, so here you can see yeah, here you can see that my process is started now. And same, this is basically the uh, this is the GPU VM. Okay, so uh, like uh, let's yes, you can see the images are generated and it is very fast than CPU VM. Here you can see the uh, process is in 57 percent 40 50 percent basically it will take some five to six minutes or seven minutes to generate the images and here you can see the in gpu vm the images are generated now so this is basically the uh this is basically the work of like uh, uh work of gpu instance like it is uh, generate 10 uh, images 10x faster okay so i am i am giving another prompt a road line okay so this is the prompt then click it click this line okay and then again click on q prompt so yeah here you can see the k sampler is working now and uh, i think okay i think it, i have to do some changes but here you can see that uh, we have generated images fa very faster than in gpu VM. okay so here you can also see that our vm is running now now let's uh, go to our uh, 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 another steps okay so after this uh, Oh, search about remote desktop connection first. Remote desktop connection, then then uh, paste the public IP of the VM. Okay, so paste the public IP of the VM and click on connect. And click on yes. And after this, you can connect, give username as Ubuntu and give password. Password here. You can access from VM uh, desktop. You can access the output images by navigating to the home open to stable diffusion output directory. To SSH to the VM open put in paste the public IP address, then log in as Ubuntu and uh, other things. Okay, so my uh, remote desktop connection is also started now. I will show you uh, then search about putty here first. Okay, so we will connect with terminal also. Like if you want to do custom models and other things, okay, so copy this one, then paste the public IP address, then click on SSH. No, 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 no. Uh, simply open this and uh, accept this terms. Then log in as Ubuntu. Then hit password here. Okay, so here you can see that we have connected with uh, uh, our uh, ConfUI VM also. 
then if you click on appearance and change the settings so you can change the font also so it will like uh, yes here you can see login as one two we have done with these steps now okay so let's let's uh, wait for some other steps i think this will this have some problem okay so uh, leave it then uh, after this if you click on config ivm then click on azure deployment guide and uh, then uh, like login as one two we have done with these steps like uh, uh, by default uh, this uh, uh, like this guide provides a comprehensive like how you download using custom models once your config is stable diffusion ai image generation made simple vm is up and running you can connect to vmbi ssh to download and use model check for checkpoint by default this vm comes with sdxl base 1.0 checkpoints okay so if we check this this is our vm so here you can see the sdxl base 1.0 safety answers okay so this uh, this is basically the checkpoint model to connect to the ssh terminal please follow by getting started guide of respected cloud provider once connected to terminal uh navigate to the directory using this command okay so let's do this one also copy this command and yep you can see that we are in checkpoint then uh, there are several several channels available to download the stable diffusion model such as hugging face search for download url of the desired checkpoint model okay so if you go on hugging face and search about any model to do hugging says website open models page okay so this is the one on model page search for required model in top search bar and also apply different filters search around here we will search stable diffusion cascade and stable diffusion ai stable stable ai cast stable cascade from the search result okay so let's do this steps also stable cascade Let, let's do for this one stable cascade okay so if you click on files and version so let's uh, let's let's uh, see the config UI integration also so uh, from the search result it will open a stable cascade models it is click on place file version tabs as shown below on files and version check open config UI points okay so if you search for stable So this is basically the stable cascade model. Okay, if you click on files and versions, so config checkpoints are here. Then you have to simply download or copy the file. It will show you a list of available config checkpoints. Click the desired one. You can copy the download link from the page and paste in the below wj command to download the model. So simply you have to copy this this one, this file name or anything, and then you have to copy this. Uh, like first you have to if if you open this file. So this is basically the uh, URL. And then you have to run with this URL with the uh, WJet command. Okay, so the yeah, WJet command will download the model and then you can load the model in ConfUI workflow. So it will work for you. So I think uh, I will cover all the things. Okay, so and uh, uh, like uh, my uh, remote desktop option is started now, I think. Wait for one minute. Yes, here you can see our remote desktop option is also started. I will also show you in our previous lecture like where you can see the download images okay so you can check the download images here in the uh this this uh this url uh sorry this bar uh in this location basically home over two sets of division output okay so you can check this output here once your image is generated now i will already show you in previous lecture how you see the images so that's all about this lecture bye bye we'll do in the next video